okay so now let's get started with this video you should be able to start working with jquery so the first thing that you need to do is download jquery now for all the sessions and working and examples you should download and work with jquery so download you could simply download any one of these libraries or download the latest one at least so when you click on this or either you can simply say right click and save your file save link as or save file as or if nothing else is happening just simply click on that and do a control s on this your file will be saved now when you save your file fine make sure to rename the file as jquery.js it's much easier to uh, link to this name fine now there are different versions download the compressed versions download the uncompressed development version these two are there which one to use you can download any one of these for learning purpose both are same if you look at the production version basically all spaces and some other concepts are involved called as minification so that has been minified the size of this library becomes smaller as compared to the development version now development version is if you want to go through all these functions read them out then this has been written in indented manner with all the comments and all so this makes it a bit bigger so while learning you can use this uncompressed version on your local machine this is the way now we have already seen the example how it works so here when you are going to work with jquery whatever code you are writing like this code example is over here here in the head area we will use the script tag source is equal to jquery js now in my case the library and the html pages are in the same location otherwise you have to give a proper path to this so this way your jquery will be added make sure this path is proper and jquery is being called into your page this adds the jquery code into your html page you won't see it as it it's done in the background by the web browser for you fine so which takes us to the question what do you need to run a jquery you simply need a web browser and what is supported if you go to this browser support over here it lists the browsers which are supported in simple terms any of the browsers which can work with javascript will work with jquery okay so make sure jquery is in the correct place and the files which you are going to work and try out are on the same place fine here you don't need a server as such but on my local machine i am going to preferably call them from the server only i have set up a local domain name on my machine i will share a link how to do this if you want to set up a lamp server can be set up and then work with it because that gives a feel of actually how you work on real life websites so i have placed it here otherwise you can simply double click and run the files but this would be a preferable way so the first method that we have seen is by using the script and having the jquery on your machine or on the server where your website is so it's in the same location the other thing that you can do is something called as the cdn what is cdn is a content delivery network a mechanism where here they say can offer performance benefit by hosting jquery on different servers across the globe fine so cdn is one of the co concept of content delivery network multiple computers are placed in geographical region with the same content and uh, one which is nearest to you will serve you the content cdn has a lot of other benefits also it's a huge topic but let's say this thing so here this is a link to cdn you can read about cdn from here so jquery cdn is provided by stack path over here that is what this say and here are some other cdns there is a google cdn if you go to google cdn microsoft there is a cdn js js delivery cdn okay so primarily using jquery from cdn you can simply call that jquery from their site okay so to use the jquery cdn here they say that go to this releases and from here whichever version of jquery you prefer to work with you can use so there is this link provided 
fine uncompressed minified slim and so many other things are there so i will simply copy this particular link fine i need the link where this jquery is and what i need to do is instead of calling my file locally i will call this from here fine so now this jquery file will be called from the cdn and if we go to our example over here fine uh, first of all let me see i have made it in jquery fade out fine so jquery fade out i will open this example now in this case when the page loads or if you say view page source you will notice that we are calling it from the cdn so jquery will be called from the cdn effect is going to be same but every time the process happens is that you are will be calling a file from a different server fine this is useful in real life scenarios when you have put something on the production server and other thing otherwise i would suggest that locally keep a copy while learning fine so this is one of the cdn and other cdns like if you want to use this cdn jquery this links are provided similarly this is another cdn js which is providing you the jquery library cdn js is very interesting if you go to libraries it's not just about jquery it provides a content delivery for almost all the other libraries also fine you can search them here another is uh, where did it go yeah js delivery is another one from where you can get the cdn link fine here also you will find lot of other libraries that you can use fine so you can use a cdn and refer to the file from a different server or you can have it on your local machine that's the purpose of cdn and that is how you can work with it so either call it from a cdn where you have to make sure the path is there or otherwise simply the reference to the file on your local machine the path should be correct here since the file is in the same location i am directly giving the name so that is how you can include jquery into your html page and start using it okay so we'll continue in the next video